In this video, I'm gonna show you how to easily clean up your bad audio using the denoise effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, so to start, let's just listen to a clip that has some background noise in it that we want to get rid of. This is the audio test in the studio. studio. So as you can see, that clip sounds okay, but there's a lot of noise in the background and we obviously want to get rid of it. So the effect that we're gonna use is called denoise. You can go up here to effects. If you don't see this, click on effects right here or go to window and click on effects right there. And you can either type in the effect denoise like this, or you can go to audio effects and then go to the folder noise reduction slash restoration and you'll find denoise right there and then just drag it onto your clip and it'll pop up here under effect controls. Just scroll to the very bottom. Then under here, we have a couple ways to adjust our settings. The first way we're gonna look at here is under custom setup, just click edit and this window will pop up. And the main thing to pay attention to here is amount. So if we reduce it down to zero, then our clip should sound the exact same as it did before. And if you crank it all the way up to 100, that's the most processing it can do to your audio, removing the most noise. But that doesn't always make it better. Okay, what's that? You think you're better than me? What? No, I didn't say that. The second thing you can do is direct the processing focus. So right now I have it selected on all frequencies, but you can change it to focus on low frequencies mid frequencies, high and low frequencies, or just high frequencies as well. All right, now let's listen to a few different possibilities. I'm gonna start by playing the original clip, then I'm gonna set the noise reduction to 20, then about 50, and then to about 100, so we can listen to the difference. This is the audio test in the studio. studio. This is the audio test in the studio. studio. This is the audio test in the studio. studio. This is the audio test in the studio. studio. Okay, so as you can see, the more you crank this up, the more it's gonna reduce that background noise, but it messes with your voice a little bit. It does, just doesn't sound natural. Do you ever wanna go to space? <laughs> I really shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> And oftentimes, the more you crank it, the more you'll get this like warbly sound in the background, like blah, 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 which just sounds terrible. So the key here is to just crank it up as high as you want until it starts affecting your voice, which means you might have some audio noise left in the background still. All right, so once you've done those two things, then the next thing you're gonna be dealing with is the volume of your clip. Cause you'll notice that once you apply this noise reduction, that the volume on your clip or the gain is gonna be reduced a little bit. So you either wanna mess with it over here, so you can use this slider to bump up your audio one decibel at a time, or if you go over here to individual parameters, you can see that our amount is actually listed right here on a slider and our makeup gain is listed here as well. So we can be even more precise. So if we just wanna to go to like 0.5 or so, then you can just go there. And then obviously once you have everything set the way that you want it and your clip is sounding good, you can copy denoise and paste it on other clips that you have in your sequence so they'll have the same effect applied to them. To do that, just click on your audio clip, click on denoise, go up to edit and copy or control C, then just highlight the clips that you want to apply it to and go back up and go edit and paste or control V. Now all of those clips will have denoise on them as well with the same settings you had over here. Okay, stop copying me. Stop, stop copying me! You can also apply denoise or any other audio effect on a single audio track as well. So it would only affect the audio clips on a specific layer. So it would affect this clip, this one, this one, and this one, but it wouldn't affect these ones. To do that, all we have to do is go up to Window and then go down to Audio Track Mixer and select the sequence that we're working on. So for me, it's this one right here. You click on it, and then this thing's gonna show up. If it doesn't look like this, then it probably looks like this. Now you too can have that same extreme radiant look. And in that case, just click this little thing to show your effects and this one will pop up. Then you're gonna click on whatever track that you're dealing with. So if I scroll down here, you can see that this is audio track one, which is this one, audio two, which is this one, and then audio three, which is the one that I want to affect. So I'm gonna stay in this column right here and I'm gonna go up to the top 
and I'm going to click one of these top kind of drop downs here, not these middle ones. These ones will do a different thing. Click one of these top ones and I'm going to go down to noise reduction and I'm going to select D noise. Now you can use this little dial in here to like change your percentage and you can use this drop down to change that as well, but it's really tough. This little dial is tough to deal with. So all you have to do is double click up here and that original window will pop up, which allows us to adjust our settings the same way we did when we just dragged it on an individual clip. So get your level that you want. So I'm going to go around that 44% again and exit out and you will see that it'll show up here. So the amount will be there. Let's just change it so you can see as you change it here, it changes there as well. So I'm going to keep it at 44 and exit out. And then now for the last little bit of this video, I'm just going to play you through these clips and you can hear what the original one was and then how the noise reduction affected it. This is the audio test in the basement. Layer basement. This is the audio test in the basement. Layer basement. Layer air. This is the audio test in the fridge. Fits. Layer air. This is the audio test in the fridge. Fits. In the middle. This is the audio test outside. Outside. In the middle. This is the audio test outside. Outside. All right, so as you can hear, denoise is not perfect, but it is a very quick and easy way to help fix or at least reduce background noise in your clips. Okay, Sammy, here we go. Hey, living This is Maria do it again. Like, I like when she responds Dad. right after. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dad. Sammy, just wait, just wait. Sammy, do you want something from there? Uh-huh. What do you want? This. What is it? And chocolate. You want the chocolate, hey? You want the Kit Kats? What do you say? Uh, here you go. Well, what, grab it. What do you say, though? Jaden gave you it. Because she wants the whole thing. You want the whole bag? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you want? Stay <laughs> in that way. Are you eating your chocolate? Mm-hmm. Oof. Stay in a go. If you got something out of this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I will catch you next time.